Lots of talk about Mercedes all weekend, how quick they were, how neither of them finished, and also in the pit lane, what was going on with their side pods. Now, they've obviously had a look at what's been going on at Ferrari, Red Bull, Haas, and oddly at Williams, where over the winter they've raised the pods, which actually is a big job in terms of the chassis because you've got the internal structure there with the, with the beams, the, the crash beams. And to raise those is a big job. It's a redesign. But in doing that, it gives you much more room under the side pod to get the air flowing towards the diffuser. Now, Mercedes didn't do that. They've got the lower impact spars, if you like. So they've come to a compromise. And the compromise is what we saw in Austria, where you see the cutaway side pods now and more horizontal surfaces, a bit like the Red Bull in the Red Bull idiom. So a compromise here. The question is, of course, do you think that Mercedes now will go one step further and do the higher crash beams, maybe a B version, before the end of this year? It's a fundamentally difficult part of the car to re-engineer, both in terms of the cost, but also the engineering resource you have to throw at it. Because, mm. you know, it, it, axiomatically, it does involve re-engineering the crash structure and getting it homologated. So I'm not sure they'll actually do that. I'm sure they'll have kicked themselves when they saw how effective <laughs> it was uh, for the other teams. Well, and obviously uh, it's kind of working because the car was really quick in Austria, as we saw. Maybe too quick in some areas, given the amount of tyre wear they had. But if that isn't enough, they've also gone to the twin mounts for the mirrors, Red Bull style, they wouldn't like me saying that. And if we look at the rear wing end plates, we can see the vertical slots, sort of McLaren style as well. So Mercedes is certainly not too proud to be looking up and down the pit lane at what's been going on.